I wrote this book uh, for a general audience uh, so that people can understand the basic principles underlying all types of catastrophes, uh, both uh, natural and uh, man-made. There's a lot of coverage of uh, catastrophes uh, on the media uh, and in print, uh, but uh, the coverage in general uh, focuses just on what has happened rather than why things have happened or what the connections are between these uh, disastrous events. And uh, what I have uh, uh, tried to do is to um, connect the different types of events so that uh, people can understand um, the linkages between them. I'm a great believer in the principle that uh, in order to uh, have a deeper understanding of any one particular type of uh, catastrophic event, say a financial catastrophe, uh, it's helpful to have a broad understanding of, of all types of catastrophe, both uh, natural and man-made. The book covers um, the whole spectrum of uh, both natural and man-made catastrophes. So um, in terms of natural catastrophes, it covers earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, uh, meteorological or disasters like uh, uh, hurricanes, uh, windstorms, uh, floods, uh, and so on. And uh, in terms of man-made catastrophes, it covers uh, financial crashes, political violence like terrorism, uh, as well as industrial accidents. Well, I'm fortunate in my career to have uh, worked in uh, a wide range of different types of uh, catastrophe uh, analyses. Uh, so if one thinks of the disasters of uh, the last few years, I have uh, worked, for example, as a mathematical consultant to uh, BP on offshore oil well drilling. I've um, been a consultant to the International Atomic Energy Agency on the uh, seismic zone of nuclear power plants. Um, I have uh, an extensive involvement in uh, catastrophe insurance uh, and so on. But this is a very interesting question, the uh, prediction of catastrophes. Uncertainty is the, the key word here, that uh, um, there's, there is uncertainty in all aspects of uh, the occurrence of catastrophes. So what we're talking about is uh, how can we manage uh, the uncertainty uh, in the best uh, way possible. And uh, in the context, for example, of earthquakes, we cannot predict earthquakes. But what we can do uh, is um, so-called operational earthquake forecasting, which is that we can come up with measures uh, to inform and advise the public um, so as to mitigate the risk of earthquakes uh, when they happen. Well, I've written uh, this book freely for a very wide audience. Um, the uh, mathematical level is uh, set in such a way that uh, um, college students uh, and uh, general educated members of the public uh, should be able to uh, comprehend the uh, key messages uh, from um, the book. Um, and uh, uh, rather than just a narrow s sector of the uh, scientific uh, public, uh, the book is aimed at uh, professionals um, in the, uh, at the finance uh, world, insu insurance, uh, banking, etc. as well as uh, professionals um, in the uh, natural hazards uh, area itself uh, as uh, uh, well as uh, geographers, engineers uh, and uh, mathematicians of course.